Hey everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video we'll be going through a unboxing and review of a pop vinyl 2-pack of Rodimus Prime and Galvatron. And this particular pop 2-pack is out of the pop television subline. And in terms of Rodimus and Galvatron, well, these versions of them pretty much goes all the way back to Transformers Generation 1. Um, more specifically the toy line uh, than the actual show, but Rodimus and Galvatron obviously did appear for a few seasons back in the good old days. So yes, uh, wrapping up some of the recent limited edition pop vinyls that have come through. Air Razor was one, which has already been published. The Hatch and Raptor was another has also been published and now Rodimus and Galvatron as a twin pack. So getting straight into it, being a two pack pretty much see Rodimus and Galvatron directly inside and we also get the little CGI image of them. Now as I said this is actually Rodimus and Galvatron more in terms of their actual original figure release, not so much them as the actual uh, animated series. Uh, especially with Galvatron, I mean those are definitely his original toy colours. Uh, Rodimus is probably not too bad either way, but yes, those Galvatron colours. Anyway, how's the front? In terms of the back, we just get to see a quick full body shot of Rodimus and Galvatron. Now I do know there is an actual um, Galvatron Redeco, I believe, of his legacy figure that sports this colour. I gave it a pass because, to be honest, it's not that I dislike the colour deco. It just doesn't tick boxes for me. As a fun factoid, this is probably the closest I'll ever get to owning the original G1 figure of Rodimus and Galvatron. Um, irrespective of my point about the redeco of the Galvatron legacy figure. Anyway, now that uh, box has been done, time to get Rodimus and Galvatron out, have a better look. Uh, I haven't decided who I'm starting off with, so we'll see in a few seconds. And with the two vinyls out of the packaging, so Rodimus on the left, Galvatron on the right, and actually did take out the little card backing insert. Uh, because it's not often that we get them, and it does look kind of cool. So, left side is in red, right side is in purple, which were the main colours used for the Transformer figures back in the day. Hence why Rodimus is on the left, Galvatron is on the right, with the background behind them. So, very, very cool. Now, take that away. I've been eating it. Um, let's start with Rodimus. Okay, so Rodimus, first thing first. Yes, you'll be able to stand on your own two feet. So Rodimus from the front, the side, his back, the other side, and just a bit of a close-up of his head and some of his uh, detailing. In terms of colours, so Rodimus does sport a bit of a very dark burgundy main colour. We do get a bit of yellow and orange coming through, which were colours reminiscent of him as Hot Rod. Uh, we also get some painted apps of some lighter, well, not lighter, um, some silver, uh, even on his actual uh, hubcaps as well, which is very cool. Also get some metallic blue up here on the upper shoulders, his blue eyes, and a bit of grey on his face as well. So overall, visual aesthetic, very much Rodimus Prime. I also like how he has his included weapon. Now I will admit, it's very different looking at Rodimus right now because all the last Transformer pop vinyls I've looked at have all been from Rise of the Beast. The differences in detailing is very apparent. Um, but I do like how these ones are a bit more simplified per the 
G1 shard and the figures. Now, will Rodimus's head move? Uh, he will get a little bit of movement, um, but I obviously don't want to overdo it either. So he can definitely do some lefting and writing. It's okay. Um, but because his arms have been pretty much positioned the way they are, it does look just a little bit not so fluidic and dynamic compared to the standard looking Ford. So, not too bad. But that is very cool. It's nice that we have a pop vinyl of Rodimus. And also the downside about uh, doing some of the... Uh, moving he will probably accidentally rub it against surfaces which I did here so some of the yellow did come off but that's okay so that Rodimus Galvatron you will definitely stand on your own two feet although for some reason I feel like you're a lot more top heavy than Rodimus uh, Galvatron from the front the side back, the other side, bit of a close-up on his detailing. <clears throat> so Galvatron, your colours, uh, very much more primary light grey, with secondary purple and dark grey, you do have some painted silver on you, and you do have some very small minuscule areas of what I think is probably a dark red burgundy. A um, bit of painted yellow, black eyes, which seems to fit you very well. But more importantly, your actual cannon is in the same type of uh, translucent, sparkly orange as your figure was many, 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 many moons ago. So that is very cool. Definitely wouldn't have expected them to do that, but uh, there it is. Detailing wise, definitely not too bad. Actually, oddly enough, it does feel like a very good representation of the Galvatron figure. Obviously, it's been a bit more streamlined. I think the figure had a little bit more protrusions with uh, some of its um, tank handles and stuff like that. Uh, but overall, very, very nice. It's, yeah, it's definitely a very much more streamlined version of Galvatron. Now, Galvatron, does your head move? Yes, it does. In fact, you can pretty much do a full 360 with your head uh, without any issues. Similar to Rodimus, I think it's going to be one of those, yes, you can do your left and or right tilt, but just because of the way that your body has been done, it uh, just doesn't seem to flow well in terms of you know general dynamic posing. You can definitely do it, um, but the lower body obviously um, won't flow as well. But that is very cool. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all that Galvatron will be able to do. He has a pop vinyl, but I will definitely admit uh, his colouring and the actual vinyl itself isn't too bad. It's actually making me loosely want an actual figure of Galvatron in this colors. I'm not sure if that's a worry or not, but either way, the thought is there. And yes, I know there's probably still ways of getting one, uh, especially with the recent legacy figure, but um, let's not push my luck. So that is Galvatron. So, I'll we'll actually bring back the backing. Galvatron. Rodimus. So, uh, final thoughts on the Rodimus Galvatron 2-pack. Now, obviously they're pop vinyl, so I only have you know set expectations of what they can do, and they're fine. Uh, Galvatron has a li little bit more playability because his head isn't encumbered like Rodimus, but at the end of the day, I, think, I don't think either of them really need to do much of a head tilt compared to other pop vinyls I've looked at, uh, Evolutions being a good example where variations in the head actually did provide a new dynamic pose, whereas uh, with Rodimus and Galvatron, 
I'm I'm very 50-50 as to whether the lead left head tilt or the right tilt actually does anything to enhance the look because of the fact that their arms have already been pre-posed in such a way but it is what it is uh, visually both look very good it's very interesting that they decided to go back more to their toy model and colors versus their actual uh, TV series colors and looks um, I think it's actually very nice it's different and if anything it's probably uh, goes back to some of the other earlier G1 pop vinyls that were released some time ago which by the way I should actually go through in time they are in storage so I might have to pull some of them out in the near future would I recommend the two pack um, I would actually say yes I think it's a nice addition for any uh, collector of Transformers pop vinyls, which is the main target audience. Um, if you're a general Funko collector, well, you'll get whatever, really. Um, but yes, I would actually recommend getting this two-pack. It's a very nice two-pack, especially of the two iconic leaders. Um, they both look really good. And yeah, being limited edition ones, I mean, there's only going to be a big enough window to get them before they uh, disappear into obscurity definitely happy with them definitely glad I have them and as I said earlier looking at Galvatron I'm just getting this more of an inkling of getting a Galvatron decor of the G1 colors as opposed to his uh, in series colors which I did have or well, do have and I'll unbox and review him at some time in the future as well Time to leave the unboxing and review there uh, for the two-pack. I think that's pretty much covered everything. Uh, definitely been a fun and enjoyable two-pack to have a look at. And definitely looking forward to making a bit more of a Transformers pop vinyl shrine. Uh, between the more G1 aesthetic looks and those out of Rise of the Beasts. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing and review video. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account. Link is in the description. It's also the same handle as this channel. There will also be a complimentary slash supplementary slash whatever the correct term is uh, short of Rodimus and Galvatron as well. Just to cover a few different visual angles that uh, wasn't done in this video. Unboxing. With that being said, stay safe and take care, and I will catch you all in a future video. See ya.